Continuing with the Kotlin programming theme, we're going to be creating a video app using an intent. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, first thing we're going to do is to create a new Android project. So I'll just drag my Android Studio in here and start a new Android project. And I'll call this Kotlin Video App. You can call it whatever you want. And I do need to specify the location I want to put this in there. So I'll go into my Android Studio projects. And as usual, please ensure that the include Kotlin support is included here because we're doing our development in the Kotlin programming language. Select next. I'm going to select the defaults here. I'm using uh, phone and tablet and going to use Lollipop. Select next. And those of you who follow my tutorials know I like the empty activity. Don't need any unnecessary code if we're not going to look at or refer to, especially in a tutorial. And I'll just keep the activity name as the main activity. We're only having one activity. Select finished and wait for that to build. That's now built. But before I move on, I just want to add another library to my project. And I'll explain what I mean. I want to, if we go to this link here, um, GitHub Kotlin Anko, we want to use the Anko library. So if I scroll down, this is the GitHub area here. If I scroll down to Anko, it provides a bunch of helper functionality for our Kotlin development. And what I'm interested in here is the dialogues and toast section here. If we select on the wiki, and if I select on the toast specifically, I'm just interested in the toast part there. It's just an easier way of just outputting toast in the dialogue there. So we're going to install that. So if we go across to my website, I will be adding a link. This is a new website I'm working on. First thing I want to do is to our top level build.gradle file is to add this Anko version. And the current version is uh, 0.10.1 of course that will change but in this tutorial it won't okay now let's go to android studio okay go into our gradle scripts we want the top level one here android studio projects like that and underneath kotlin version just paste in our anko save that and let's go back to my documentation here And we need to add the version as well. And I'm just going to feel a bit lazy today. I'm just going to copy and paste this line here. And it's just we want to add the dependency to our gradle.build file. Back in into Android Studio. And this one here, the module.app, open up that. Scroll down here. We can just add this to the bottom. Paste it in. And of course, we will need to resync our files. I now want to add a video view and button to our layout. So if we go across into resources here, go into layout, select that main layout. Good thing there's only one. Okay, um, what I want to do here is just to change this to a frame layout. Um, at the moment I'm using a uh, beta version of my Android Studio 3.0 and it's not playing nicely with the design tab so we're just going to manually code it in there and it's easy to do this with a frame layout so if I just call frame layout and we're going to have to re remove the text view and let's add the video view first and for the width I'm going to select match parent and I'm going to wrap the content for the height. Let's add an ID for that. And I'll just call this video view. 
Okay, and when we start this up, I before we can actually play a recording, we need to record that. So I only want the button to be showing. So I'm going to um, remove this view from the application on first startup. So we call Android visibility and make that gone. And I just want to central that video view right in the center of the display. So if I call Android layout gravity, make that center. That should be fine for that. Now we can add our button view. And I'm just going to select wrap content for this. Again, I need to give it an ID. And I'll call this video button. And I do need to center this as well. And let's add some text there. So let's be good and proper this time, which I'm not normally, don't normally do this and I should. Okay, I'm gonna add a string resource for our camera button. And I'll just call this camera button. I just call record video, which will start a video application. Okay, let's go back into our layout and now call Android. And this will be a text string camera button. Okay, let me just check this. I, we've got the layout, we're going to be displaying the button, so we can just keep the defaults. That should be fine as it is. We now need to go into our main activity source file. The first thing I want to do is to add the synthetic properties for our layout. So we'll import that. And it's Kotlin X Android Synthetic Main with the name of our layout and we'll select all our views there. It's a nice way to be able to refer to our views. Okay, now we can go into the main activity class and I just want to add a request code for this first. It'll be a value of course, read only. And we'll call this request video app result which is, which is our result code now I want to create a new method in here which is just going to call the video app so it'll be fun so call this thing I want to do is create an intent so it'll be a value um, we'll call this video intent create a new intent and we're just going to pass in the media store here and it's going to be the action of video capture okay the next step here is to make sure we've got an application on our device that does support video capture so if we go if we call our video intent and then we want to call resolve activity. And now we can call get package manager. And for Kotlin, it's just package manager. And we just need to check that that is not equal to null. In other words, we do have an application on our device that supports video capture. So if that's okay, we have found the package it's just a matter of call start activity for result so of course after the video application is finished recording it jumps back into this application passing our intent with our request code request video okay that's it for our call cool video app 
And once we return to our application, we want to capture that result. So it'll be on activity result. Okay, the first thing we want to do is check the uh, request code. So I'm just going to call when, which is what you do in Kotlin, and set a switch and pass in our request code. First thing I like, normally like to do is just to check if we find an unrecognized request code. In other words, something's gone wrong. So I'll do this with the else. And this is where I can call our toast now. And I'll just put unrecognized request code. And I'll use a string template here and actually display the request code. Okay, now we'll actually put in our request code, which is the request video app result. Okay, once we're in here, we do need to check to see the result code is successful, and we need to check the data actually has got data as well. So we'll do that within an if. So let's check uh, the result code first. So if the result code is equal to result OK, we can go ahead, but we also want to check for another condition, which is that the data is not equal to null. It's actually got something inside it. OK, if th all those conditions are successful, we can get the video URI from the data. So let's call our video view and then set video URI and now we can get that from the data intent. It's called data. It's just a matter of like data again, which stands for get data. Okay, we've now set that. So Hopefully everything's going straight forward ahead. We can actually play the video now. So we want to hide the button. So if we call video button, visibility, and we now set that using the Kotlin syntax to gone. And currently our video view is not being displayed because we set that to gone in the XML file. So we can now display that. It's called video view. Visibility. It's view dot visible. Now we can play the video. video view again and start okay that's fine for that part um, what we do need to do is to go into our on create now and set up an on click listener for our button so if we go to uh, the video button and set on click listener here and then it's this is a matter of call video app and finally, when the video is stopped, complete playing, we want to go back to our button again. So we can actually, we have a listener supplied to us from the video view that will, um, that will provide a callback from when the video is completed playing. So let's add that inside on create down here. So we call the video view. And we call set on completion listener here. So this will actually be called once the video is completed playing. So it's a matter of hiding our video view now. So visibility equals view.gone. And our video button 
We'll make that visible again. And these should be all the changes we need to make. So let's run this application to see if it works. Application's now started up, so let me record that so you can see what's happening. So I want to press the record video button, which will start up our video app. Now just record. Accept that record, uh, stop the recording and accept the recording. And it's automatically playing back. And once it's completed playing back, it jumps back into our video recording. Sorry about that, I had the sound turned up there, so you might have heard a little bit of background sound. So that completes our task. This is what we originally set out for our application to do. Finally, let's just walk through the changes we made by setting up some breakpoints on our debugger. So inside our uncreate, I'll put a breakpoint in here for when we set an onclick listener for our button. Now let's put one on the oncompleted as well, and we'll put one in the call video app, and of course in our on activity result for when the video recording application completes and returns back to our application. Okay, now let's run that in debug mode. Application's now started. I haven't had a breakpoint yet because I need to press the record button. Pressing now. We've hit the first breakpoint here. That just verifies that our button on click listener is working. Let's continue on. Okay, we're inside the call video app. First thing we do is we create intent with the media store action video capture action. Now we check to see if our device does have a video application. It does. So now we basically say, right, start that application, record a video. When that application is completed, come back to our application. Let's continue on. So I do need to record a video. I'll do this quickly because you're not actually going to see it. Stop it accept it and we've hit our on complete listener here so the video is now completed so what's going to happen here is I'm going to remove the video view and add our button view back again and continue on and the button view is back again that completes this tutorial um, basically we learned how to create a video action capture intent to start up a video application record a video and when that was completed it returned back to our application supplying the uri of the video so we just supplied that video uri into our video view and then just displayed our video view, hit the button and played the video until completion where we return back to our button. Quite a simple application, but also giving a good example of the Kotlin programming language. And we also um, demonstrated using the Anko library specifically in displaying Toast. So that completes this tutorial. If you want to get notified of the other tutorials I'm working on, you can click on that subscribe button. And please don't ask questions on YouTube. I get so many of them, it's just distracting trying to read them and I can't respond to them, I just don't have the time. There is a link in the description to CodeMentor website. So those of you who do really need help and are willing to pay for it, I provide consultancy services there. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Bye for now.